I'm sorry, but this is Dallas Cowboy Hate Week. I can't, I can't get my mind going about anything else right now because this game is just so much on my mind. The Cowboys and the Eagles are meeting up, and it finally means something again. First place is on the line. This is pretty much going to put someone two steps ahead of the next guy to win the division here, and I know uh, neither team's going to do shit in the playoffs, so let's not kid ourselves, but... It means something for the sake of a rivalry that I've been behind my entire fucking life. So, to my fans that are upset that I'm making another sports video, I'm sorry, but you should have learned how to read the title and just not watch the video. But, I do want to I do want to call someone out. A certain Dallas Cowboys fan out there by the name of Jay Watt. Uh, Jay Watt, you might not know who I am. Hello, I'm the Arch Fiend. I make a lot of videos where I talk shit. Uh, either just a, about some asshole on YouTube, or I talk shit to rival fans of uh, my team, the Philadelphia Eagles, that I've been supporting my entire life. Now, with that being said, I have a mutual respect for you. I have a mutual respect for you. As, as you said, you would like to, you know, rather drink with, you know, someone like EDP or Nitro Freak or some of the other people you named in your video over some Dallas Cowboys. I feel the same way with, about you. I'd love to sit down and watch a game with you, just sit at a bar somewhere over some Eagles fans that are complete nitwits. So, one of the reasons I say it is I've been following you for years. I know you keep it real. I've been following guys like you, like Shango over the Dallas Cowboy Show, Cowboy TD, watching you guys for years because you give a fair and balanced approach, to use a, a shitty catchphrase from the Fox News channel. You give a fair and balanced approach. You're not just going to, as you say, always, you know, shoot rainbows up Tony Romo's ass. I, I understand that. You don't need to clarify that with me because I, I, I get where you're at, Jay Watt. But your video you made last night, there's, there's a few points that I want to contend with here. And, and just to the Dallas Cowboy fan nation out there, I just, I just want to talk some more shit. So, uh, because that, that's part of the game as a fan here is talking smack back and forth with the other team's fans. Now, Jay Watt, um... I like that video you made. You brought up some good points, um, one of which I liked uh, that you pointed out how ugly the Eagles uniforms are. Um, spent a minute or two talking about how uh, vile that green color is, and it, it, it is an ugly-ass color. Um, I don't want to spend more than 30 seconds talking about the, the fashion of my team, but you did. That's okay. That's okay. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah, I agree with you. It, it is an ugly shade of green. Uh, moving along, uh, talking about actual skill on the team. Um, you, you brought up uh, the comparison between bandwagon and Fairweather fans, and you say how people like fans of the Eagles will attack Dallas for being like a bandwagon hub in the NFL. And I hate to break it to you, but that is absolutely without a shadow of a doubt true. Now, you clarified by saying how, you know, uh, in order to bandwagon, you have to win something in order to lure people to hop on. And you said how the Dallas Cowboys haven't won shit, spare one playoff game in 17 years. Well, Jay Watt, I hate to break it to you, but when I talk to Dallas Cowboy fans like up here in the Northeast that I've been living for almost 30 years of my life, you talk to people in D.C., in New York, in Philly that are repping a star, repping a Dallas jersey, repping anything like that, signifying they're a Cowboys fan. And you go up to them, you go, what part of Texas are you from? Texas? I'm from Poughkeepsie, New York. What? What? And then you ask deeper. It's like, why, why, why you, why'd you latch on this team? It's like, well, you know, a few years ago, the, the Giants weren't doing that good, or the, the Redskins weren't doing that good. I wasn't really a fan, but I wanted to be a fan of a winning franchise. I wanted to be a fan of America's team. I wanted to be a fan of a, a team that's won five rings. You see, Jay Wad, now your definition of bandwagoning may differ from mine, but when I see fans like that living thousands of miles away from Dallas, Texas, and they're jumping on based on the legacy of your team, then I'm sorry, I consider that bandwagoning. Now, you might disagree with that, and that's fine, but me and many Eagles fans, when we see someone repping a Dallas star and they don't even know what the capital of Texas is, I'm sorry, we see that as bandwagoning. Now, it's not to say you can't be born and raised, you know, a Dallas fan from the get-go, but when you talk to a lot of these people, you realize that they're just, oh, they're just latching onto this team because they've had success in the past. That's bandwagoning. That's because they won something big, Jay Wad. And I'm sorry, that happens all over the country. It happens with the Steelers, happens with the 49ers, and it happens with the Dallas Cowboys. 
Now, you go up to some of those same fans, and you just you just realize that there's there's just a lot of nitwits in your fan base. I'm sorry, there 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 really is, because you you ask you I, like you ask these people like cockroaches. These Dallas fans are like cockroaches all over the country. They're just they're just infecting every single major urban city, even the rural areas. You talk to them. You go, oh, that's nice. That's a nice Emmett Smith jersey. It's, it's, they, they tell me, could you could you answer me real quick? Could you name could you name one team that the Dallas Cowboys beat in the Super Bowl? And you'll get out of them. Well, well, surely at some point they had to beat that AFC powerhouse Patriots, right? What? What? Can you name someone on the Dallas Cowboys other than Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, or Michael Irvin? Oh, I, oh, Deion Sanders. Oh, what? He was there for the last Super Bowl they won. That's the best you can come up with. What? Anyways, um, you got a lot of nitwits in your fan base, and many of which have come on in the past 17 years, and they, and they want to start talking smack. They want to start talking smack to someone like me. That last video I made a couple days ago, uh, Wednesday to be exact, I, I'm getting a lot of, like, you know, like the 15-year-old to 17-year-old fans, you know, the fans that have watched nothing but failure from the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'm not saying that my team has had an, a mountain of success, but if you want to compare what my team has done, the Philadelphia Eagles, in the past 17 years, compared to what the Cowboys have done, and some little piss ant's going to come on my channel and start talking shit about how much my franchise sucks, Motherfucker, what have you seen your team do in the past 15 to 17 years of your lifetime? Your entire lifetime has been watching guys like Quincy Carter come, John Kitna come through, Ryan Leaf come through, Tony Choco, Romo come through. How many playoff teams have you guys, you, you Dallas Cowboy fans that are 15 to 17 year olds, how many, how, many, how, many, how many playoff wins have you guys seen? What? Huh? Guess what? That's the same amount of wins the Tim Tebow fans have seen in the playoffs. One. Tim Tebow in his first year of the playoffs has as many playoff wins as Tony Choco Romo does. Another thing, J Wad, um, you wanted to point out and by that whole last little section of that rant, that was more to the Dallas fans, not necessarily to you, J Wad. Um, I, I, I know you know your shit about the Cowboys. I know you know more than just Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, and Troy Aikman being on the last dynasty of the Cowboys. Now, another point that you, you wanted to bring up, J Wad, and see if I can eloquently explain myself here, is you talk about how no one fears the Eagles. You said, yo, fuck the Eagles. We ain't afraid of you. <laughs> what? Now, okay, again, I'm not saying my team is hot shit, but who the fuck fears the Dallas Cowboys? My God. I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I hate to break it to you, Jay Watt, but the Dallas Cowboys haven't feared anyone. Since Jimmy Johnson left that team, and okay, they won one more Super Bowl off that with Barry Switzer when Jimmy handed them that team. But ever since Aikman left, or ever since Aikman retired, Irvin busted his neck up in Philadelphia, which, by the way, was a classless act that the fans cheered at Philadelphia. I'm not going to lie about that, and I don't doubt Bobby Taylor said what you said he said. Um... No one, no one's feared the Dallas Cowboys, and that's the thing. Like uh, being a fan of this rivalry for all these years, I can remember what it was like being a kid, being a teenager, seeing Dallas come in and kick the shit out of Philly, go on, beat us in the playoffs. I remember seeing that as a kid. I remember what they they showed in Dallas. I remember um, it was '94, I do believe. You might want to correct me on this when um. Uh, the Eagles and Dallas met in the playoffs, and they, they showed convenience store shelves. They removed Philadelphia cream cheese from the shelves because the game was at Dallas. They, 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 hate, they, they hate us so much there. I love it when you see a team do something like that, remove a fucking food product on a shelf to, to, to promote a rivalry. That's fucking great. I miss those days, man. That's when this rivalry really meant something, man. Fucking hell, the past 17 years, I, I've, been, I've been watching Donovan bust that fucking team up so many times, win the NFC East so many times, seen Tony, Ro Tony Romo choke so many times, seen the quarterback carousel go through Dallas so many times. Past 17 years, this rivalry has fucking sucked. So you want to talk about, j -Wad, you want to talk about how no one fears the, the, the Eagles? Who in the league has feared Dallas in over 17 years? My God. Holy shit. Anyway, um, again, J-Wad, 
I like your videos. I'm going to keep watching your videos because, again, you keep it real. You keep it real. You're the type of fan I would sit down at a bar and have a drink with, even though you're repping the rival colors. But, man, the nitwits and the bandwagon and your fan base, man, cockroaches. Just filthy fucking cockroaches all over the nation repping that Dallas star. Ooh, makes me want to fucking puke. And you got even got um, one of one of the Dallas Nitwit fans, and I'll even I'll even put up his comment on the screen. This motherfucker comes out there. He's leaving several comments on my channel. And, and look what this motherfucker says. <laughs> oh really? The Denver Broncos put up 52 points on the Eagles. Let me let me let me do this J Watt style. Let me do J Watt style. Um, listen here, you chud and chudettes that are trying to break apart my team and insult me by saying Denver put up 52 points, motherfuckers. The same Denver Broncos came into Dallas the next week and put up 51 points on you. At least make a point that doesn't make yourself look as equal as fucking chuds. For an example. And then usually sit back and tap your fingers. I see. I watch your videos, J Watt. I watch your videos. Anyway, um, to all you Dallas Chud and Chudettes that are gonna be like barking at me about any of the games yet that the Eagles have played. Uh, first of all, some of you guys are saying how we almost lost to the the 0 6 Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Number one, they're 0 and 5. Learn about a little something called the bye week in the NFL before you act like you know about football. Um, uh, the, Almost blowing it to the to the Giants. That's another thing I got up. I'm like, fucking, what did you guys do to the Giants in week one? You barely won that game. What I'm getting at is neither of these teams have much to brag about. Granted, I think the Dallas Cowboys have been a hair more successful in that at least they scored up with the Broncos, whereas Philly didn't. But <laughs> Dallas ain't exactly a clear-cut ass stomper coming into this game. So... To all you Dallas Cockroach fans that are repping that star and don't know shit about your franchise, just want to let you know that the real Dallas Cowboy fans are laughing at you guys. And to all the nitwits in the, in the Eagles uh, as well, um, you know, don't start talking smack to you know about the game. Now I know people are going to be like, well, what do you know about the game? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I've been repping this green ever since I was born. At least I hope my parents had me in the green. Anyway, <sighs> Jay Watt. I can't wait to see your reaction video to what whatever the Eagles do to you because I know either way, Dallas win or Dallas loss, you're going to make an entertaining video out of this, and that's why I follow you. So, anyways, J Wad, just want to end this with a little ounce of respect shoved your way. Um, I know EDP is going to make an equally <laughs> entertaining video, win or loss for the Eagles here. So, and I'm going to do the same. Anyway, everyone. Let's enjoy this fucking game, and goddamn, uh, the, the, the fucking Sunday can't come here fast enough. Fucking hell. Let's get this shit on. It's fucking game time. Well, not yet, but anyways, have a great day, everyone.